Hi, it's about time I made a video. And so today I think I'm gonna do like a rainbow look because Pride Month was last month and I bought a bunch of rainbow palettes and I feel like using them. So first I'm gonna go in with some sunscreen. I already have like a tiny itty bitty little amount of makeup on. I just have some highlight on my inner corners and I filled in my eyebrows a little bit. That's because I went to Walmart and I can't walk out naked. And so I'm just putting some sunscreen on to protect my face. Must protect. So I'm trying to decide what colors to use. Of course there's like all the colors of the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, that situation. But like it's hard to blend in with the green with that situation. Red, orange, yellow, green. I guess you could do that, but it doesn't look that nice on your eyelids because like you should go from like light to dark. So while I'm deciding, I think I'm just gonna fill in my eyebrows. I'm gonna start by drawing a line under them and fluffing out the, the, the front. Then I'm gonna go in on top and draw a line on top and blend out the middle. And continue fluffing up the front. That's nice. I don't think I'm gonna carve out my brows today because my brows always kind of look super defined unless I do like a wispy brow. So how are you guys today? This summer has been intense. I got a new job, I got kicked out, I graduated. It's been intense. I spent like $700. That was totally a smart decision. I didn't actually spend $700. Oh, those are not the same at all. Yeah, my brows are definitely sisters, not twins. Whatsoever. Go Twitches! Go Twitches! Go Twitches! Go Twitches! They're twin witches. I wish. You ever, like, wish you had, like, witch powers? Because I wish for those, like, every day. And I'm not going to put on any foundation today because I've been sweating like a mofo. And I'm not trying to get brown everywhere. Okay, that's going to be close enough. Maybe I'm too judgmental. So I put a little... Uh, Walita lip butter on my lips and I think it's really nice. It's cute. It only lasts like four hours But like it's cute. It's nice So I'm gonna take some tape and like Block off this part of my face Just trust me on this. It's really great And so I'm gonna go in with the I got the power primer from W7 I'm gonna give it another shot because it honestly does not work nice for cutting the crease, but it might work nice for just a base makeup. And I'm just going to go in with a dry beauty blender to pat that on. And I'm just going to go like close to the brow, but not all the way up to the brow. So, I'm trying to decide whether or not to use the James Charles palette or the Morphe 25L palette. And I think because the James Charles palette is the one that was on top, we're going with Sister James. And honestly, I stand for Sister James. So first I'm gonna clean my brush because you gotta beat the devil out of your brush. Go on, beat the devil out of him. 
looks like the devil got out. So we're gonna go in with B, which is a yellow shade, and pat that on. I'm just gonna pat that on all over the lid because we're not doing a cut crease. We're just gonna add a little bit of sparkle in the end. And then I'm gonna go in with 518 and blend that out a little bit. Getting extreme fallout. And then I'm gonna go in with Rusted and just tap that onto the 518 to make it deeper. I'm also gonna blend out B. Then I'm gonna go to You're Kidding, which is still my favorite shade in this palette, and blend it into Rusted. And then I think I'm gonna go in with Escape and pat that on. Just pat it first before blending it into your kidding with small little itty bitty circular motions. And then because um, Escape is so dark, I think I'm gonna pat a little bit of your kidding on top of it, on top of where it was blended. And then I'm gonna go in with Cola, which is a very warm blue. Because don't you know my pussy tastes like Pepsi Cola? Freaking Lana Del Rey. That looks dark. I'm gonna take a little bit of single and pat that on top of the scape to try and brighten it up. Yeah, it's kind of working. And then I'm gonna go in a playground and pat that on top of cola. Now I'm gonna take the Milani Stay Put Matte 17 Hour Liquid Liner and I'm gonna do a cute little wing. Then I'm gonna remove the tape. And then I'm gonna touch that up. That's a very intense wing. Very intense. I'm trying to cut someone with that. Now I'm going to do my other eye. All right, now that I've done my other eye, I'm trying to decide what color to go in with the inner corner. I haven't added any green yet, so I might add like a green highlight to the inner corner. And so if I would do that, probably go into the Morphe 25 L palette. And so I think I'm going to use Liberation in the inner corner because it's a nice green iridescent shade. It's poppy. And so I'm trying to decide what to do for the lower lash line and I think I'm going to do like a little blue and a little green for the lower lash line. So I might use the shade Nature from the 25L palette, or I would go in with Daddy from the James Charles palette. Probably that one. 
And so I think I'm gonna try, try, keyword try, putting I got the power under my eyes because no, no eyeshadow is gonna stick under my eyes unless I put concealer on. This is going horribly. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with not a concealer brush, but maybe if I could find a different brush, possibly. There we go. I'm going to go in with the eye crease brush from e.l.f. And I'm going to put uh, a little bit of cola just at the corner part. Just a tiny bit. And then I'm going to take uh, the shade Daddy and blend that and don't you know you gotta stick yourself in the eye with the brush and then i'm gonna take social social blade that's weird and just fill in the rest that's all the colors of the rainbow you got the red you got the orange you got the yellow you got the green the blue Violet. I did it all! Now I'm gonna do my other eye. Alright, now I have the eyeshadow for both eyes done. It looks like a lot. I still feel like it needs more. So I'm gonna clean off that eye crease brush and I'm just gonna dab into Liberation and just pat that on just a little bit just to get a little shimmer. Just so that there's tiny pieces of glitter there. I can't tell if you can tell. You can see it in real life, but you just can't see it on camera. Let me just add like eight pounds of this shade. I would not mind taking a bath in this shade. It's, it's cute. All right. Should we add crystals? I kind of want to add crystals. Should we do a pink crystal or a silver crystal? I think we're gonna decide off camera. While I'm deciding on the crystals, I guess I'm just gonna go on with a little bit of highlight, accentuate my cheeks. That's nice. I love a blinding highlight. Oh, I think I need more, so I'm going to go in with a little bit of Queen from the Royals palette and just make that just a bit more intense. Hello there, hello there. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of blush, and so I'm using Regal from the same palette. I'm just going to tap that on and then blend it out. Hello guys, it's me, Nikki. Hello. That's iconic. She's always putting on blush, like always, in like every video. And like sometimes it's too much, but I don't want to say anything because I love her and she's iconic. That's a cute amount of blush. I like using darker blushes, I've noticed, because it actually shows up on my skin and doesn't look like I have pasty cheeks. Now that I'm looking at myself, my eyes are way too dark. <laughs> and so I'm going to take a concealer brush with some white liner and just pat that into 
my itty bitty tiny little eyes. Oof. And I'm going to tight line the corners with a matte black liner. If I could find one. Keyword, if I could find one. <gasps> I found one. Okay, that looks a little bit better. So I'm going to go in with some mascara. I'm going to go in with the Clinique, Chlamydia, the Clinique Volumizing Mascara. And I'm just going to coat my little lashes. You do the wiggle and the pull, wiggle and the pull. And then I'm gonna coat the top of my lashes and then coat the bottom. And I notice that it, like gives me deep long lashes, deep, deeply colored long lashes. And then if you get mascara on your face at this step, you're just ruined for life. And now that I'm noticing that this isn't blended out that well, I'm just gonna rub my finger over it and pretend that I didn't see it. You know, because it's great. And so I'm gonna take a little bit of uh, crown from the Royals palette on my finger and just highlight like that little tiny smidge of skin underneath my brows. That's good enough. And so I'm gonna take the same color I used for blush and I'm gonna pat that on to my lips to make them more intense. Actually, I'm gonna rub it on. Just to make them a little bit more red. And it doesn't feel like crazy dry. It only feels crazy dry if you do it over chapstick. Now I'm going to take the tinted lip oil from W7 and put that over to make it deeper and shiny. Decide whether or not to draw on freckles. Is freckles too much? I feel like this look is a lot. Freckles is probably too much. My hair and its little buns. I should probably do my edges. Do little swoops. And I oop! Jasmine's iconic. Okay, I was trying something new and it worked. So I'm just gonna keep doing it. So I'm going out the same argan oil that I've been using for the past few videos, just to do these because I have work in two days. 
and I don't want to have to wash my hair every day because of all the hair gel. And I'm just dipping the brush into the argan oil instead of actually spraying it on my fingers. And it's actually working out really well. Oh, that's cute. Swooping the edges like nobody's business. Ooh, sis, that's cute. Hmm, I think that's the look complete for today. Hmm, maybe we'll do one rhinestone. So I decided against the rhinestone, I'm gonna go in with this NYX glitter, with their glitter, with their glitter primer. I just drop everything and I'm just going to take the teensiest little amount of the glitter primer and like rub it into my finger and then tap it sporadically over the lid and then I'm going to open the glitter and take a tiny sponge and gently just Dab on some glitter. That just got all over my cheeks. A little bit of shine in there. I think it's cute. I might have done a glitter cut crease in a different in a different life. And you're just gonna have like sporadically placed glitter. And it's just gonna get everywhere because that's kind of glitter's job. It's the herpes of the makeup and art world. It's all over my legs, it's all over my shirt, it's all over my face, but it's also all over my lids. And I'm living for it. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.